Hey guys, it's Fuckus. This week we're at Stanford University, one of the best colleges in the world, where protesters are mad that Ben Shapiro's here. Yaf is here, Ben Shapiro's here, and they don't want to hear him speak. Let's see what they have to say. Fuckus Talks. You guys, this is the YouTube channel? Yeah, what's up? Want to be on it? Uh, sure. Are you here for the Ben Shapiro thing? Uh, yeah, I just dipped. Nice. I just left it, yeah. How was it? Um, well, it hadn't started yet. I just left because I felt like I couldn't morally be in there. Got it. And just so everyone knows, I'm he's on a stoop. Um, here, yeah, I, I'm 6'1". I'm 6'1". Is there anything that you've seen Ben Shapiro say that you don't think is racist or sexist? I don't even know who he is. So, Were you here at the protest tonight? Uh, yeah, I was coming in and out. But there was another event. I wanted to go get some Stella a trois, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I don't mind that. Why, what makes you protest Ben Shapiro? Um, you know, he said some f***ed up s***. Uh, there were some statements he had said um, that I didn't really agree with. But, you know, that's not really a reason to protest, in my opinion. Nothing he has to say is true. You see him as an extremist person? Yes. What are some things that Ben Shapiro said or done that you don't agree with? Um, well, um, there's a whole slew of things. Um, I think just, like, generally what he stands for. I'm just out here because I, like, identify as Latinx, and, like, there are a bunch of marginalized groups that Ben Shapiro is against um, that I don't think, like, any decent human being should be, like, sympathizing with him. Do I think he should be allowed to speak here? Well, I guess so, but I don't really know what he has to say. Depends on what he has to say, I guess. Have you thought about going inside? Not yet, no. Is there anything that Ben Shapiro said or done that you don't agree with? Um, can't, can't think of any off the top of my mind. Before the talk, I didn't, like, know much about him. Um, but just, like, knowing that he was coming here and, like, I knew that he was, like, labeled as, like, this really, like, bad person and, like, within the people that I get along with. Um, which are like other people that like identify as Latinx or African American. Why are you protesting Ben Shapiro? Uh, I don't know if I'm. I don't know. I think. Uh... Hey, you don't have to talk to him if you don't want to. He's an adult. He's an adult. Yeah. He's an adult. He's like over 25 years old. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you're over 18. I'm over 18. Yeah. Yeah, he's over 18. Uh... See, because he's scared. Because he knows that if you're not 18, he could get in trouble. So. Yeah, which I'm being responsible. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not a conspiracy. United will never be divided. The people united will never be divided. What's your message to Ben Shapiro directly if you tell him one thing? Uh, f- Trump. Okay, cool. Uh, I support all the people out here. Um, I think personally for me, I just, you know, don't agree with some of the stances that he's taken. What are some of the things that he's done this, that you don't agree with? I think just some of the stuff that, you know, can be viewed as hate speech, I think. Um, Anything specifically, though? I, no, nothing Nothing specifically. I think that he just, you know, says a lot of stuff that, I mean, obviously hurts communities. If it didn't, people wouldn't be out here. I'm going to have to censor that. Sorry, am I going to have to call Stanford? Yeah, you can do that. You're assaulting you do. Oh, yeah. Assaulting? That's cool. No one's assaulting anybody. Yeah, right. I mean, so now I'm I need to get my phone out and record that I'm not assaulting you? So I'm having a conversation with you, and you're shutting down. Okay. You want to talk How about this? About I'm going to walk away problem. from you, and if you follow me, yeah. that's your problem? Okay, let's just go around. Keep recording. You do whatever you want. No cops. No KKK. You're smart. You go to Stanford. Go away. No cops. Talk it out. No KKK. Ben Shapiro. Go away. No cops. They're good at loud. They're very good at loud. Loud is covered here. They got loud figured out. I guess that's the KKK cops they're talking about. You might be assaulting me now, because before she said I was assaulting her and I wasn't. Now she's spraying lights in our face. No, but it's improving the light, though. I know. It looks, it looks so good much. that way. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. Um, we're going to head this way. If you want to come with us? Or this way, maybe? Can I ask you a question? No? I feel like I hate that I'm getting boxed out. Like, it's just very frustrating to get boxed out by people that are smaller than me. I, I'm not going to, like, intrude and use my body because I don't do that. But that's really sad. I know. But I could, like, if I wanted to go in there, I could. I'm not going to do it. And that just kind of puts me in a tough spot. I have to be the bigger man. I have to be the polite one. Like, I'm getting boxed out. It's not very accepting. Not very that's tolerant true. to other ideas. Not very tolerant to yeah, other ideas true. either. I've been politely asking for discourse. Ask the Martin. Go. Are you a student here? Uh, no, I'm not. I was on my way home from work. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, so on campus there was um, some flyers that Ben Shapiro had hung up. Those. And what did yeah, you hear? I heard that they just like they tore them down and then they started putting up their own flyers of like an insect or something. Yeah, they put up a, a Ben Be Gone flyer, which is basically which like is... comparing him to an insect and saying they wanted to exterminate him. Which from what I understand is something from uh, 
Like Nazi propaganda. Yeah, kind of. They were saying that he like dehumanizes people with his language, and they really you know, they compared him to a, a roach, basically, and said he needs to be exterminated as a Jewish man. I don't know. Something that maybe could make people offended in real life. All right, Fred, what brings you out here tonight? Hey, you know, I'm a big fan of Ben Shapiro. You know, I love hearing him speak, listen to him every day, being a big follower of his podcast. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what are your hopes that, you know, Ben Shapiro being on campus today, a lot of political discussions are kind of getting squashed down on college campuses these days. What are your hopes for Ben Shapiro coming to Stanford? Uh, you know, I think right now, especially being here in California, a lot of people just aren't aware of what's really going on. So hopefully, you know, Ben Shapiro could come out here and, you know, reach out to everybody that's here and hopefully just start opening up some minds and some eyes. Why are you guys so mad? Ben Shapiro's got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Hello. Can I ask you a question? I'm okay. Okay. Can I ask you a question? You're just dead. If you're going to come here and protest, give, you, give me a reason why. Don't just say, oh, it's Ben Shapiro and everyone told me to hate him. Watch. That, that's, I used to be a snowflake liberal. And then, uh, and then I started watching the people that I thought were the enemy Watch, watch them and find their specific reasons why you disagree with them. Don't just go, oh, th they told me he's bad, I'm gonna be, it's going to be bad. They told me this guy's going to be bad. You know that one time you were at, um, you were recently at one, the guy was like all for political violence, and you're like, oh, you, oh Michael Knowles. Michael and Knowles, kind of say political violence guy, let's cut to it. Like, tell me something you've watched and evidence I'm, you have. So then how can you be out here? I saw the poster. That was enough for me. You saw the poster? Yeah. I think that violence is a useful political tool, and if wielded in the proper fashion, that, I mean, collateral damage happens, that's a shame, and people need to be careful what they do. Yeah, yeah that guy. Yeah, and he just, I saw a banner. I'm like, dude, that's it? Uh, shut up, Shapiro. Did I get a statement from you about why you're protesting? No? How about you? Pro uh, I have my permission to record. Well, no, I mean, okay, you're just standing in the street with a sign. I'm doing my job. Yo, 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 guys, are you protesting? Oh, hell yeah, me neither. What brings you out here? Ben Shapiro's got to go. Hey, hey. Where does he have to go? Ben Shapiro's got to go. Can I ask you a question? Oh, no. Okay. To get to where I am today, to have y'all people come on this f***ing campus. Who are you? Get up. You are hard out of work to get to where I am? Go. Hurry. You don't deserve to be here. Period. You don't deserve my time, my energy, and my justice. Okay, boomers. <laughs> okay, boomers. No hate. That's a nice sign. I can agree with that. I agree with that. Who's being the hateful ones? The, the people in line really polite and nice or the people shouting over here? The people, people going crazy. The people in line have been pretty nice. Have they come over and attacked you guys? No. Do you go to school here? No, I don't. Okay, I don't want to talk right now. Do you go to school here? I do. And if you don't, and if you're coming here to distress the students, I think you should go home. You're the one shouting and going crazy and yelling at these I nice people. These are nice people that are walking in. I think it's simple. They should go home. I'm not going to talk to you further. Okay, well, it doesn't make much sense. To, you, you go to Stanford and you don't understand the most basic aspects of our country then. You go to Stanford, dude. It's one of the best colleges in the world. One of the best colleges in the world. You don't understand the most basic aspects of our country. It's very embarrassing. Ben Shapiro's got to go. You go to school here? Ho, ho. It's one of the best schools in the world. Ben Shapiro's got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Do you want to tell me something about why you're got protesting? To go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Do you think Epstein killed himself? We can agree there. We can probably agree there. Racist, sexist, anti-gay. Ben Shapiro, go. Can you tell me something he's done that of those things? Racist, sexist, anti-gay. Ben Shapiro, go away. Very cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. See, that wasn't so bad. Was, was I nice? It, was, it seemed civil enough. It seemed civil enough. And then here she comes to spray the lights in my face. But I was nice. You're going you're gonna to come around to me. You're going to like me by the end of the night, I promise. Well, that's not very nice. That's disgusting. Why? We have the same outfit. Why can't we like each other? We're almost the same that's height. So like, why would you be like, we'll like each other? Like, no one is going to have to like you. No one's going to like you. Especially not here. Like, maybe there's, like, the different crowd. Maybe you should go, like, talk to, like, you know, white supremacists. I don't know what your thing is. Um, you think I'm a white supremacist? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. I have a good guess. Um, what would you guess? I don't know. I think that was probably my first one. That was assumption. Uh, you're being assumption. Uh, that's not. Yeah, 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 it is. It is. It's a metaphor. No, I know. It's a metaphor. No, Calling me a white supremacist is a metaphor. Yeah. At this point, it's not even about freedom of speech. This point, it's not about any of these things. It's about our own safety. It's about our lives. It's about the fact that we go around this campus scared.
Did you see anything tonight that kind of made you unsure or feel unsafe about for that came from the Ben Shapiro supporters or the more right-leaning people? I mean, <laughs> the fact that they have voting power. I really am so done of performing and acting like everything is always all right when I know that in any moment if I say something, if I stand out, if I show the world how I'm feeling, how any of us are feeling, I'm going to be put under attack. A lot of people today were talking about how the trans community specifically feels under attack when they have people like Ben Shapiro on campus. Oh, yeah. I myself am a Trump supporter and I've been walking around here. No one from the Ben Shapiro crowd has done anything to this group or attacked anyone in any way or said anything derogatory. But I've been walking around here and people have been pretty rude to me, getting in my way, putting lights in my face, playing music in my ear. I feel like I'm actually the one who, of anyone in this whole night, has been more under attack than anybody. So, well, so I'm saying it kind of goes think, both ways and we should kind of meet in the middle on that. Mm, I disagree because if you're thinking about like the grand scheme of your life, how many times have you been spit on and called the N word? How many times have you been? I haven't been called, called the N word, so but I got spit said, on like three weeks ago oh, when I had a table. I had a table set up at a college campus, mm -hmm. and, the, and the table banner said Trump is not that bad. And a woman came over and spit on me. And murdered the market. So right now, technology is what's okay, so going what on in the market. Just a regular gang I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I hate getting boxed out. Maybe I start to walk backwards and just go in. I'm like, I'm a large person. I, I can go in. <laughs> yeah. Just try it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to like impose. Yeah, I don't want to impose on someone smaller than me. No offense. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go around the other side. I guess this is your area. I'll go around the other side. You have some people behind you. I don't think they want to get your attention. Oh, I'm good. I'm totally good. Fine. She's an adult. She's an adult. Uh, they. I use they them pronouns. So yeah. would I say they is an adult? Uh, they are an adult. They are an adult. Okay. They yeah. are an adult. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for straightening that out. No problem. Hello. Anything you want to say about Ben Shapiro? Hope you're having a good day. Thank you. That's actually very nice. That's some of the nicer comments we've gotten. Hey guys, any statements for Ben Shapiro directly? You're a clown. That's good. Chips. Hello. How are you guys? What brings you? Uh, never mind. What's your message to the protesters? We tell them one thing directly. If I could tell them one, just be nice. You know, you can protest, but don't like throw rocks or have like this whole violent attitude. Just be friendly protesters. Exactly. Ben Shapiro's not that bad. He's really not. What are your message to the protesters who want to shut him down? Uh, chill. What's it like wearing a MAGA hat in the Bay Area? I wear the MAGA hat in the Castro. I'm also homosexual. What does your hat say? It says, uh, made you look again. What is, what's that about? Uh, I'm just trolling. Uh, I really was afraid of bringing this hat. As I was taking it out of my car, I was like, like I didn't want anyone to see me. And But then I just decided to just take it and I just hit it and waiting for the right time to just bring it out so I won't be assaulted by Antifa or something like that. The cafes or wherever place I go for business, they don't even look at me. They, this, guy, this guy used to be really friendly to me and then when I wear my hat, uh, he, uh, he can't even look at me anymore. He just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, dude, calm down. I'm just here to get coffee. Can I ask you a question? Go away. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? Yeah, I was wondering what you think about Michael Mackay's structuralist foundations of mathematics. I don't know anything about that. Dude, you should learn about it. You want to you wanna hear about it? No. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's cool. Uh, so, what, okay, what brings exactly. you out here? Sorry? What brings you out here today? Yeah, okay, so I'm actually really passionate about topos theory. About what? So it's like, it's an alternate foundation of mathematics uh, based on uh, dependent types as opposed to abstract sets. This is Stanford stuff, man. It's too smart for me. Like, I'll hear the left. I'll, I watch the Democratic debates. I'll watch the other side and then be like, oh, well, I disagree with that. And that's why I'm not a Democrat. But the other side can't do that. So most of mathematics is like based on set theory, which has a language which describes it, which is first order logic, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. I think these kids are not getting callous enough for the outside world. And then when they go into the outside world, they're not going to be prepared. They're not going to be prepared at all. And the outside world, if you go outside the Bay Area, you know, you're going to see people with Trump hats. You're going to see conservatives, you know, and it's bad to think that you're you're always right and the other person's always wrong you're not gonna be able to get along with a lot of people why the vest i'm, I'm just curious so in the beginning it was like a gilet jaune thing with like france and the anti-globalist protesters okay. um and it's kind of like a cool outfit to wear i think it looks really cool and no one really rocks yellow vests and i think it's kind of like a unique fashion statement that's true i think it was i think it was probably confusing some people around here though a few friends of mine uh we're also wearing some yellow vests for, I think, slightly different reasons. Well, I was wearing them first, and I was here first. This is the moment. I'm trying oh. to unite the nation here, guys. Someone should bring the reds and the blues together. 
and Pepsi is the one to do it. I've already given away five Pepsis tonight, and this has been beautiful. Both sides have taken Pepsis. This is what can unite us. Flagus Talks is a, is a Diet Coke channel. We're, we're Diet Coke people, but Pepsi can maybe unite the country, like the Kylie Jenner commercial. But I personally am a Diet Coke guy. Um, what brings you out here? The love of Pepsi and the love of the United States. Sir, you can't keep you can't keep plugging Pepsi on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You gotta. The Pepsi's gotta pay for that. Pepsi's gotta pay for that. I want to unite the nation. Pepsi can pay if they want, but we can't do a free plug on Pepsi anymore. <laughs> are you protesting Ben or are you for Ben? I don't have an opinion on that. I'm here as a chaotic neutral bringer of soda and deliciousness to unify the nation. I love both sides. Ooh, socialism now. Yeah. Not ironically or ironically. We in Argentina and we're like crap. What's it like in Argentina with socialism? It's terrible. You have salaries below, the, below $200 a month. Everything is destroyed. Corruption is terrible because of it. And people from Venezuela are flying to Argentina and now they're living in Argentina because of socialism. Escaping from socialism, coming to socialism, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Um, why do you guys want socialism? All right. All right. Apparently, I, I, I know. So I have to come here to have a better life and stuff because capitalism and it's changing my life dramatically. Now I can give a good life to my family in Argentina. That's because amazing. If not, I, I would not even be able with socialism. Wow. So two different views here. Yeah. We'll very respectfully have them both. Loving this high-vis lifestyle. Get it only at FleckersTalks.com. We're working on that. Okay. Uh, Shopfleckus.com. Shopfleckus.com. Get it only there. You can get something like that there. Hell right yeah. On. Love the merch, man. Thank you, Good bro. Good stuff. I, I love debate. I love to interact. I love to hear the other side, you know? Um, yeah. I'm not afraid of what someone might say or what arguments. Like, I want to know truth, right? Like, I, I'm on this planet once. I want to know what's really going on, how things work. And, and so um, I, I love it, you know? Hell yeah. yeah so. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah. Thanks, man. 100. All right, now the fuck is talks in the books. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Ben's speech from the F thing tonight will be in the bio. The link is in there. See you guys at the next one. Fuck is talks. And support me on Patreon. <laughs> uh, it's called Fleck is talks. We can cut. Thanks, dude. What is it? It's called Fleck is talks. Hello. Thank you for keeping us safe out here. Max, thanks for talking to me, man. Uh, one last thing. Yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself.